Praise the Lord. Yeah. So if that gift is not being used, it's because you haven't done anything with it. It's like the person who received the coin and dig the hole and put it in the hole. Eh? Didn't invest it, didn't do anything with it. Amen. So I'm praying, eh? We're all praying that in this church, eh, we have the responsibility eh, to develop the gifts of the Holy Spirit that He has blessed each person with. <coughs> so that we can be used by God eh, in these last days. Amen. So does that clarify a few things to you? Eh? Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit has a mind. Has a mind. The scripture is there. Can we look it up, please? Somebody look up 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 10 and 11. Somebody look up Romans 8, 27, please. Somebody one. Will somebody can get it, please, me? Man, you're hurting so bad. 
say, God, please intervene. Do something for the next one. Eh? Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. eh? You've been there before? Yeah, of course, all of us. Eh? If, we, if, you've been a, if, if you've been a Christian for some time, man, we all go through it. Eh? Seasons of it. Remember, it's only a season. That's going last forever. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, the Holy Spirit has an emotion. Ephesians 4.30. Can you read it for us, somebody? And do not make God's Holy Spirit sin. For the Spirit is God marks for ownership on you. I guarantee that the day will come when God will set you free. Amen. Mm -hmm. Another translation that says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Do not grieve. Kena bawa mici berkat untuk aku ni bawa rawat tangan ayam tamu. Is that right? Let's go over tambah mici. No boy. Okay. No Hindi Bible. We haven't got a Hindi Bible in there. Praise the Lord. All right. Who's got the other translation? What's your translation, Pastor? Say. Tiga untuk memuri. What's your translation there, Sister Eli? And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Eh? We are sealed by the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption. Eh? In other words, the devil cannot steal us away from God. Enough to take us back into hell. Eh? He can't do that. Because the Holy Spirit has sealed us in Christ. We're going to stay there for the rest of our lives until Jesus calls us home or he comes back sooner. Amen? That's good news, isn't it? Amen. That's good news. The devil cannot touch us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Don't talk. Brother Joe. The devil intercepts our prayer when we speak in the known language. Yeah? He can, uh, he, this is the reason why I'm saying uh, eh, when you pray for something eh, and you don't want the devil to know it, you pray in your heavenly language. If, uh, if you pray for Esther's wedding, right? If you pray for Esther's wedding, uh, you should pray. I'm not saying that this is how you should pray, but some, uh, somewhere along these lines, I said, God, I want you to meet every detail of this wedding. You give us spiritual climate and you give us also. Eh? Right? Every detail of every need of this wedding, the finances, the table table, everything, the transportation, eh? the stuff that we're going to take to Nandi, praise the Lord. Eh? We pray that you meet every detail of every need. And Holy Spirit. Whatever I forgot, even if I don't remember it, whatever I, I forget to mention to the Father, you mention, you pray to the Father right now. Yeah? And so you begin to pray thanks. I say, God, Amen. So whatever you fail to mention, you ask the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you mention it, you say it to the Father right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. You pray for that trip that you will be protected on the road. Yeah? That nothing that will happen. Amen. Well, you better start praying now. Say, what's it going to happen? Yeah. You better pray that, you know, because the devil will try to kill you along the road between now and here and then. Yeah? yeah. Praise the Lord. Because you don't know the people that are on the road at that time. But they may be drunk from the New Year's Eve coming from New Year's Eve. Christmas Eve, if they're drunk now already from New Year's Eve, boy, boy. Eh? So, you don't know. So you pray that God will carry you in the palm of his hand. All the way back uh, from Nandi to Lotoka, Lotoka, back again. Ah. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That you won't eat any food there to get sick. Yeah, maybe Pharaoh like to eat so much mango, eh? Or pineapple. Something like that. Yeah, you cover too much. Praise the Lord. Or the Ivy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you ate so much Ivy. Ah, you cover too much. Yeah, praise the Lord. Because the food's so good over there in Indiana. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. So that's how you do it. So he can intercept in a known language. And what you can do is that he can also pray confusion into the camp of the enemy. I don't know. You ask God to 
confuse the communication line of Satan and all his demons. Just like he did it in the Tower of Babel. I think we all use, you should already have the, the scripture and the prayer format for that. Eh? I gave, I think I gave it last time when I, when I was here. Okay? So that's what you should do. Eh? So you pray confusion into the camp of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Yeah? Yeah. So, so God will break down the communication line or the communication network. Amen. Yeah. So that's why that's why it is an advantage to pray in the Holy Spirit. Amen. You will notice too sometimes when you're doing prayer and intercession and stuff like that. Uh, when you're beginning to pray, oh God, you know, I lift up to you, eh? Uh, yeah, so let's say Radini, when she was you know, feel, not feeling it. I prayed, and all of a sudden, bang, you went to pray in tongues. Uh -huh. because, the, because the Lord doesn't want you to, eh? The, you, they want a direct prayer because they want direct intervention straight away. Uh -huh. Because you don't want Radini to suffer one more day, or do you? No. Uh -huh. Because you want instant healing, instant deliverance right now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pray what? So, you gotta start praying. Get to enjoy the food, but you have to start praying. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Because, I, because I, I, I say this because I, I, nearly, I nearly got killed or had an accident, a very bad accident, in between Nandi and Suba because I was driving back. Yeah? Because I, I just landed, got a hired car, and drive back. Coming up the hill there, down one of those hills there, the steep hill with the bed and all that. And I, when, I, when I tried to, uh, I find myself on the other side of the road. Then I kind of swing it back this way. And when I swing it back this way, the car, as if one demon was pushing the car from the bed. It was heading straight for the telegraph pole. And just before it hit the telegraph pole, the car all of a sudden stopped without any reason whatsoever. It should have hit the telegraph pole. Because me and my son were running there. That day, God saved us. I knew, I knew, I knew God saved us. Mm -hmm. Lord. So you would never had me standing here if that happened that day. Praise the Lord. Amen. But God saved us that day. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Praise the Lord. Oh, I prayed in tongues right from that place there all the way back to Suare. Ah, but my son had to tell me, shut up, Dad, stop praying in tongues. But, praise the Lord. You thank God for what God has done, eh? For some of us, we should have been dead a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But because Parameshwar was carrying us in the power, in the power of his hand, we are still here today doing God's work. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, let's read uh, that bullet point one, eh? That the Holy Spirit speaks. Right? X 28-25. Let's read the scripture. Two, three. So you can see that the Holy Spirit can speak. <coughs> Holy Spirit can speak. Eh? And you will notice this. From time to time you will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit talking to you. Yeah. Sometimes you just feel that urge. You know that urge. You feel that. Uh, you know. Sometimes you'll be there. I, I am here. You probably, you, you probably had this before. You just feel the urge to pray. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. You know. I just there's just an urge for me to pray. So you know you probably turn off the cooking and everything and all. I just leave the side and man, I gotta go obey the Holy Spirit and just go into a prayer closet and then just start praying. Say, oh God. I don't know what's going on, but I just, yeah, you just obey the conviction, eh? Amen. And then I don't know what's going on, I need to pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. Who has that happened to you before? You just kind of feel the urge to just go and pray. Yeah? You didn't know what was going on, but you just, there's just something moving you, urging you, compelling you, driving you, that I drop everything, go and pray. Amen. Amen? And because you obeyed the Lord, somebody's life was saved. And you heard it few months later. I said, ah, okay. That's what it was. Eh? Amen. Praise the Lord? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Eh? So the Holy Spirit speaks. 
Hallelujah. I never got to finish. It. I will really never finish this thing anyway. So let's read. Let's read. Continue reading. The Holy Spirit. Two, three. Number A, two, three. This is what I mean by urging. This is what I mean by urging, right? You may not hear a voice, but you just felt in your heart, in your spirit, that you need to do something. <coughs> Amen? Like Pastor was saying last week, man, you know, I just need to go home. And when I went home, the door was open. Amen? Something like that. Yeah? Just an urging, a prompting. Mm. Yeah? Uh, you know, a Holy Ghost nudge. As if, as if somebody went, mm. yeah? uh, uh, who has uh, had a Holy Ghost nudge when the Holy Spirit went? Mm. Praise the Lord. That reminds me, Masumanda, Masu. This is my next square, and I don't have a Who has the Holy Spirit waking up to pray? Yeah. I remember one time when the Holy Spirit tell me, get up and pray, because it was winter, you know, and the bed was nice and comfortable and warm, and uh, so I pulled the blanket again, uh, and suto, all of a sudden, I found myself on the floor, so I got up and said, oh, Jesus, sorry, Jesus, sorry, sorry, I apologize, uh, please forgive me, I repent, <laughs> Because somebody's life could be depending on your prayer. That's why. So praise the Lord. So we learn, eh? We learn. Amen? B, two, three. Yeah. That through the word of God. Amen? Through the word of God. Through, through the preachers that God will bring across your path. Amen? C. That's right, that's through prophecy or prophetic words, word of knowledge. D. Yep, okay, that's good. E. You'll see that as you go through, as you learn the word of God, read the word of God, you will <coughs> see understanding of the word of God that you didn't understand before. You will see things new in the Word of God as you read the Word of God. Eh? Like you've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. How many of you have you've had this, this happen to you? You read the Word of God and go, Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the Holy Spirit imparting spiritual knowledge into you. Please, before you read the Bible, just say a little prayer for the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand what you're reading. Amen? <coughs> Praise the Lord. Have it. That's right. Sometimes you you notice that uh, what the Holy Spirit will say to you is confirmed in the Word of God. Yeah? Remember the Bible says, where two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. Okay? So if somebody comes to you and says, you know, the Holy Spirit said this for them, said this for me to say this to you. You wait. Yeah? You go ahead and pray, okay, God, give me an inner witness. I need an inner witness. I need to see it in your word. Eh? Don't just go and say, because one pastor comes, oh, you need to give me $50. I need $50 a month, I send it to you. Eh? Eh? Yeah. So you pray. Say, God, you give me the inner witness. Because I don't want to do these things without my faith being stirred up, being encouraged. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. And by the way, don't believe it. Don't believe every pastor. Praise the Lord. You check out what they're preaching according to the word of God. Eh? If, it's, if it's in line with the word of God, then you believe them. If it's not, forget. I'm not ashamed to say that myself. Eh? So if anything I say here is not according to the word of God, forget what I said, believe the word of God. Yes. Amen. Eh? I can be wrong, I'm just as human as you are. But the word of God is never wrong. Amen. You've heard me say that before here. So I'm repeating myself, I'm saying it again. Praise the Lord. Eh? But then I'm going to be able to get the money. I'm going to be able to get the money. I'm going to be able to get 
ke sini perkara mesti kerum. Mula dah nak kau kaya, bukan bulat kau mesti kerum. Nenek, mata tapi nak kaya. Right? No pressure on me, no pressure on you. You don't have to believe everything I say. But the responsibility is you on you. After I say it, is to go home and check it. <laughs> Because I've done my job, eh? I've delivered the message. So the, the responsibility is on you to go and check it. Kaya kung tumulat sila bitito na kaya kung tumatagi ng mga tao, siya kaya may boso na wala nga ba kami kami ng bitito. Bata nga libin ka sila ng munchiya na bosay. Because he wants auntie to make a tea and uh, uh, you go home, maybe, maybe, oh, it's not like the Bible, don't give him any more tea. <laughs> no more child with him, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen? Last one. G. That's right. You remember, you remember Joseph? He had a dream. Praise the Lord. To take the baby and go to Egypt. Amen. Amen. Who, who else had a dream in the Bible? Joseph, well, Mary, Mary's husband. Who else had a dream in the Bible? Can anybody remember who else in the Bible had a dream? How about Joseph and his four brothers, the one that with the coat of many colors. Did he have a dream? He had a dream. Praise the Lord. Eh? That the sun and the moon and the stars will bow down to him. Eh? Right? What about in prison? Who had a dream? The baker and the... What about the woman, right? The baker and the... Wait, 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 Cup bearer. Remember they had a dream? Praise the Lord. So, let's, so God speaks to us in visions and dreams. Who here that God has revealed to them something about a situation or something through a vision or a dream? Okay, so let's Has anybody here had a vision from God? A dream from God? Anybody? God has spoken, spoken to them in a dream or in a vision. Yes? Yeah, praise the Lord. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, you'll notice a godly vision and a godly dream will encourage you to seek God more. Eh? Will encourage you to seek God more. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. My time is up. Any questions? No questions. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your people that have made the effort to come tonight. Despite of the weather and all the other stuff that's going around them. Hallelujah. They've put it aside and they've chosen this best part. Father, to be a Mary and come to church so that they can learn about the Holy Spirit. We pray. Bless them, Lord God. Hallelujah. Grow them. Strengthen them. Lord God, mature them. Father God, I pray that you will strengthen the gift that is on the inside of them. You, you will help them to develop that gift. All gifts to, uh, to, to maturity and fruitfulness in God. Thank you for each person here. Thank you for this church. I pray that you bless this church. Grow this church, Father God. Increase this church. Lord God, I pray. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord God, to develop our relationship with the Holy Spirit, the very person that we're studying tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us to understand the Word of God tonight and help us to put it into practice. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Tata, would you want to say something? Are we, are we doing it again next week? Uh, are we doing it again? So next week, eh? Mga kamigod, kung may mga tunggang may pamatali, 